impression of this beautiful Gun factory scene from Lacrosse, it's so big that I wonder if this didn't somehow hang in like the brewery offices. It is beautiful and all of the vehicles that are there, Ken, and the horse barn on the old streetcar, wagons loaded with barrels. And oh, you know, when they made our brewery litho, they always had the smoke had to be coming out of it because they were in high production. They always wanted to jump show, so the smokestack. They weren't thinking about air pollution back no. then, were they? I think, Ken, that is a self-frame tin. Okay. And, but we always put frames around them, and this may have already had this. See, I think this frame came with it. Came with it. Yeah, it's That's why I thought this was already framed and it hung somewhere special. Yes, it did. Because you know, you and I both know that taverns wouldn't spend no. the money to frame, frame a that. factory scene no, like this. No, they just send them the scene if they were a tight house. And I don't know if they had tight house slits and the other ones did, you know. Then they've always wanted their factory displayed. I don't know either, but I bet they did. Yeah, but this is, uh, yeah, this is an old frame. Yeah, mm -hmm. if, it, if we would have... Have we got a glass? Yeah, there? you know, this. I think you have sort of a non glared glass. glass but, but I think this is actually a lithograph. Yeah, I think. Oh, it is definitely. I, it is. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's a lithograph. I see now. And I think her put glass over a lot of them. But they might have had it on that one. But that is an old frame. You and did you see all the transportation? We've got a train. Yep, we've got a trolley. A, right. And the, and the horse yep. drawn barrels. Yep. The barrels. That's what I said. And, and look at the little cart. The, de and, the detail's incredible. Yeah. This is from the England Junior Brewery, which for a very brief period of time in the 1880s was in New York City. Mm -hmm. This lithograph is dated 1880 and it's just spectacular. Can you talk about that? Well, this lith, as you can see, <clears throat> we bought this from Peter Blum, who was president of the, of the NAB at one time and yes. worked for Strokes. Yeah, but this is the only one known. And, and the Englings do not have it because they, we, we bought it. I think we must have bid on it because Herb outbid a few people, of course, to get it. And it was, it was cut like that when we bought it. But Herb still knew how rare it was and would can bring us. So he, we purchased it and brought it home and had it matted and then framed. And uh, it, it's just with his helpers, you know, his followers. You don't see him so often. Yeah, look but at that scene of King Gambrinus. Right. That's terrific. Yeah, you see him, but you don't see all these people with him usually. It's just King Gambrinus yeah, his and, and his followers. Yes, the Yinglings don't have it, and they would like it, but of course, Herb said so would we. So we kept it, and uh, now we're happy to see it going. Well, that's it. a very special piece, I think, especially because that brewery was so short-lived. Right. This is a. This is a gla you, you have a self-framed tin behind the, the glass, glass, yes, and just beautiful period-type frame. Yes, um, it's from the Hubner Brewing Company in Toledo, which is they didn't survive prohibition. Very long, no, mm -hmm. no. And there you see the river boats. Mm -hmm. well, the, they must have all been along the river, so there you get the transportation there along the river. No, we always put glass over these and frame them to protect them especially when we were going to put them in a museum. We were very fortunate we never had much vandalism, but we just were making sure we didn't have vandalism because they were such rare pieces. Yes, and this is one of the, the famous uh, tin lithographs that came out of Coshocton, Ohio. Right. I think this one is by, this is by the, this is by Meekin Beach. Yeah, yeah, they were from Coshocton, right. Oh, but the the work, the intricate work on them, and I said, and I could spread to see there where everything mode of transportation was on the ground, okay. transportation with the, but in this one they were by the river, so we get all the types of the riverboat transportation too. Beautiful. Yeah, it yeah. is. Tell me about this one because I have not seen this before. Yeah. I see that it's behind some glare-free glass. Yes, mm -hmm. we bought it. It was tin. It's tin. I'm oh. sure it's tin. Yes. And that we uh, that we found it. It's quite a scene. It looks Egyptian or something. Yeah, it, it's hard to. And the, the name is sort of in a in a uh, rays up there. Mm -hmm. It's sort of covering it up. And everybody is toasting. And their different costumes and their uh, their urns with food like they had then. And then they put some bottles in. I don't know where it was, but it's not an American scene. I don't think. I mean, it's an American brewery, but they it's something. Maybe they found it in a history. Well, book. let's 
Let's remember that beer was supposedly invented by ancient Egyptians, or at least they did drink it. Yeah, they did. So maybe that, that harkens back to that. That Yeah, they came from there. Of course, the real early beer came from the South American countries where the ladies brewed it. Tell me about, this is pretty spectacular. I have to see if my friend Joel Gant, who is an extraordinary <laughs> lamp collector, I'm wondering if he has this piece. This is another one that you were telling me about where you framed a self-framed tin yes. to protect. Mm -hmm. right. And this is obviously, you know, a beautiful uh, scene. We've got Sir John Falstaff there. Yep. And, all, and the, the, all the dogs, the children, they put everybody in this, you know, to the, what you would find in a home. But this has got to be in a, it's got to be in some big mansion or something with the, with the windows, look at the windows and the, the chandeliers and, yeah, they just put everything in it. There's they have some of the thing, the large beer containers, and, and then they, of course the the uh, shield mm -hmm. with this with the lamp on it. The famous lamp shield. Shield, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And we know that Sir John Falstaff was a Shakespearean character, so this is probably of that era. Right. You right. see the the garb that they're wearing. And they use the bo the bot and the hops, mm -hmm. the hops on the side, you know. So. It was, it's very, and it, the color was so good on it. Mm -hmm. And that's why her, we, he pick, picked out a, 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 a frame that would go with the air, you know, the old wood with a little bit of beating around it, and that just sort of set it off, but didn't distract. And you know what age is this too? This is before crowns. So yeah. you see the, the bottles with yeah. the, Our, the wire tops. The wires over here. And, right. and the, you know, they must have been corked. Yep. And that one's popped. And look at look at how they've created here, here's the, the, Here's the cork. There's here. the cork, okay. yep. Look at how they've created the, the, the foam and the bubbling in, there. in the bottle. Mm -hmm. And here we have a date on there. 10, oh. 14, and it's 30 something, but I don't know what it is. Well, it's not 1930s, we know that. It's got to be before Prohibition. Yeah, but. well, Lemp uh, went out of business at Prohibition. Well, you don't see much from Port Huron. No, no that we don't. And she was just a just a piece of, of this paper with a founder. <laughs> Do you remember like where and when you got that piece? I don't remember where we bought it, but it must have been a show because Jim, it might have been a convention because he had seen it. And I just, it was rolled up probably and not, and now we framed it all and, uh, and uh, so to match it with the colors that pick up the pink of the rose in her it's hair. Beautiful. And then we like to use a little gold edgings. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Cleveland, of course, was very young when she became the first lady, 21, and her husband was much older. He was her father's lawyer. Ah. And then he did, she met him, and she, she was a beautiful first lady, they said, just so gracious. And if, if you bought that Pep's malt liquor bottle up there, mm -hmm. it had a coupon on it, and you could get them for 25 cents a bottle. And, or, because if you sent that in, and more pictures now to go with this, if you sent that in, then you would get an oil painting of her. Mm -hmm. If it tells you, and now I have the oil painting. Be going up to the cone top, see you know, I brought it up at home. And you could, uh, with him, it was very hard to see because this is just all the advertising was the Philip Best. The Philip little, Best, and so that dates it, seeing that it's Philip Best. Yes. And then, then the oil painting, especially, I found that at a flea market thrown down because no one knew that little bitty sign. Mm -hmm. So, and it is beautiful. And this was bought when the first convention of uh, NABA was recreated. This is a fair lady yep. from Fra Frank Fair Brewing Company in Louisville. Mm -hmm. Can you do you remember anything about this when you got I'm it? Yes, I'm sure when we had the Oldenburg in Kentucky. People would bring in pieces to sell her benign. And you know, all the time that we had that collection there, uh, these uh, we were collecting again. And no one knew, well, they knew at Oldenburg that we were. We have a, had a special place to store, and we were still going to conventions, trade shows, everything. And we built up this big second collection. Yes. And more, because we couldn't quit collecting. But someone brought it in, and I did have her up. At, we had older her, but I took her, I told him I wanted her back. So we can finish up here with this lady from Springfield Breweries in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. um, 
There again, it was a paper litho. I'm trying to see the date on that, but I can't tell. It doesn't, they don't have it, do yeah, they? Yeah, they don't. They don't put the data. We could figure it out by, you know, going back and seeing the you data. No, it's not on the, one of the counties. No, that, I imagine it's, it's a paper that we probably might have found that out east. I told you how, I guess I didn't tell, I have to say that for herbs, how they used to sell the lithos before we were buying them. Oh, you, you did mention that. They clipped them on the, with a the clothespin, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> we can't buy those. They might tear on the way home. That's the right. The car is full of bottles and trays.